HUD activated. Commence briefing. Approaching Haraz. Data on the subject. Kadir Suleiman. A local political figure hired to maintain order after the outbreak. His brother Hassan died in a disease-related incident before we were able to evacuate him. Suleiman blamed the GRE for Hassan's death. He stole a highly sensitive file which became his bargaining chip against the GRE, with instructions to publicize it if anything happened to him. Data on the subject. The stolen file. Yep, in 10 seconds. It details the incomplete process of synthesizing a cure for the virus. If implemented in its current state, the produced substance may be extremely toxic. Now. Also, the file contains full description of the Varian's structure. Any attempt to use it would result in countless lives lost. It must be recovered. Further information. Current status. Suleiman sent the file to an associate unknown to us, with instructions to publicize it at his command at any time. To counter that, we instituted a citywide communication jam, preventing him from publicizing the file. Your GRE-issued radio can overcome that jamming. It is your lifeline. Do not lose it. Suleiman has since gone underground and begun using a different name. We have reason to believe he now leads one of the two main factions operating within the city. You are to find Suleiman and locate the stolen file in order to save mankind from a disaster of unprecedented proportions. That wasn't a normal drop shoot. Break his legs, then take him to rides. Back up! All of you! Stop! Loud noises draw them. Fall back! Fall back! And welcome to Fat Badger's Let's Play of Dying Light. I figured I might as well stay silent during the instruction. So, but if you hear some fidgeting around, uh, sorry about that. Had to close the window. Um, so, let's get started. You pinch him. You're scared. I'm not scared. Then pinch him. He blinks. What? He blinked again! What if he's a zombie? Then I will eat your brains! Come back here, kids! I want your brains! Um, to be completely honest, I tried to do a Let's Play of Bioshock 2 before I tried this. Problem was that the game continually crapped out on me. It kept crashing and uh, by the fourth time I just kinda gave up, you know? So I figured I might as well try this. Uh, hopefully I have lowered everything 
enough for the recording to, um, you know, not lag or get screwed up. So let's see what happens. So we fell down from the sky, got eaten a bit, another guy got eaten, eaten a little more, and now we are in someone's home with a lot of books. Not much else, it seems. So let's get going. Find some brain sweet. I'ma eat your kids. You for three days like a dead man and scare children. Off to a great start, anyway. It's what I do. In paradise, can't you see? <laughs> okay, enough joking around. Head to room 190. The boss is brief. I mean, I'm not. I mean, 31. Ask the boss. I'm not sure I would say paradise, but um, all things considered, it doesn't look that bad. I mean, there's not blood everywhere, and uh, so far, no zombies. That's your number. It seems. Other than me, of course. Ah. Oh, nom, 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 ah. ah. Crap. So I'm not a zombie. I did get eaten though, so. Excuse me. Your number. You're the 31st infected. I'm the 18th. Everything is counted here. One fewer doses of antizin. One more new infected. One more runner gone. So 31. That's not that bad. I mean, so there's what? 30 guys, including that. So 30 minus 1. That's 29 zombies out there. I mean, we could do that. We, we could kill all the zombies. Now he's gonna get a mere Santisin. Shut the fuck up, I'll eat your brains. Hey, where's room 190? Upstairs. Okay, thank you. Very helpful. We're just getting picked up one by one. Yep, but it three. Can I run? I cannot. Sabra. Hey, the boss, is he in there? Oh, you're 31. Go on in. Go on, 25. No, 24. Holy crap, I can't remember my age. Shit. Uh, not important anyway. Ooh, TV, TV. I cannot read that. Um, I know that on uh, higher texture qualities, you can actually read everything they say, uh, what they say, but that is written. Um, but my computer would not allow me to record that quality level. So, yeah, too bad. Hey, I'm looking for the... Are you the boss? The biggest what, boss. Young? You got the problem with my age? No, I... You wanted to talk to me? That's better. Do you remember anything? Know what you are? Yeah, like mm. I can see this is some kind of shelter. We call it the tower. Brecken and his runners put it all together a couple of months ago, and we've been here ever since. Isn't that a little precarious? Drops, scavenging. I mean, you could have pushed the, yeah, the binoculars over the edge or something. You could. Because if not for her, you'd already be chewing some of these knee bone. Your antigen was totally crushed, by the way. Well, that sucks. Only thing Jade could salvage was your radio. Oh, great. So can I get that back, please? And could you tell Actually, me what antigen is? more than you do. Believe me, pal, that's not the case. Oh, wait, didn't they already say that? But I might not have listened Fine. to her <laughs> too well. You know why runners put their lives in it danger? Happens. For guys like you. So now you take the antigen meant for someone else, and you won't even share your gear with us? I don't have time to deal with your bullshit. I've lost contact with one of our guys thanks to the fucked up radios we're stuck with. There's a diff difference between sharing and just you giving. Mean? I don't want so. to see you or your precious radio anymore. So go be useful somewhere else. We don't tolerate lazy assholes here in the tower. Hey, be fair. I'm not, I'm not lazy. I'm just, hey. I'm just fat. That lost guy I mentioned, he's only on the 13th floor. And a bit lazy. Might as well be trapped in a Very lazy. Come back later. Like you wouldn't believe how lazy I am. And I'm not the boss. Too young, remember? I'm Rahim. Brecken's in charge here. Wonderful. And where I'm do lazy. I find this? Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> what? That hit a uh, hit a nerve, huh? I'm not lazy. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Where do you think you're going? The 13th floor. I'm getting some stuff for Raheem. 13? 
Shit. That's gonna be some dirty work. Why? But we all got to pull our weight around here, huh? Are the remaining 29 zombies down there? Hmm? Holy crap, it just hit me. They meant 31 in the tower. Balls. Jesus. Well, that's Let's a bit of a slaughterhouse. Here. Wow. Dead baby. Oh. Sup, Brosef? Where were you? We've been waiting for your report. It's been over 70 hours. Yeah, I took a nap. Don't worry, the cover's intact. No contact with the tower's leader yet. Unable to confirm identity. I'm taking steps to blend in. Acknowledged. Time is of the essence, Crane. Remember that. There's, there's one more thing. I, I got bitten. I've shown no symptoms, but the people here say I'm infected. Then you'd better get your hands on some antisent ASAP, Help! hadn't you? Help! Somebody! What the hell? Yeah, okay, fair enough. So, let's go help a guy. Then get some answers in so we do not turn into swambies. Swambies! Wow, that was actually really fucking easy. Boop. <laughs> Can only make the head explode. Fair enough. Yeah, good enough. Well, so the guy was watching movies down here in the stench. Yeah, I can see why you would do that. I cut my arm getting away from him. Oh, God. You sure he didn't munch you? Didn't you? Munch a little? God damn it. That was. That was my brother. Oh, I came down um, to see him and easy, easy. Don't sorry, right I'll, I'll get help. Hey, Raheem, this is Crane um, I'm down here on 13. Listen, this guy of yours got fucked up pretty bad getting away from a zombie. Oh, shit. I mean, if you want, you went after Mark, mm. is, it, is it safe down there? Yeah, well, it's safe enough now. Okay, don't move. I'm sending Lena downstairs. If it makes you feel any better, he didn't suffer. Too much. Also, his pants are kind of pulsating. It's kind of nasty. Hey, hold still. Lena will be here any minute. Goss. You've got to find some goss. Oh, and alcohol. I need to get hammered for this. That will stop the bleeding. Please hurry. I try to stay calm, okay? I'll be right back. Fair enough. Um, anything in the bathroom? Mm, nope, of course not. Uh, oh, flashlight. Metal parts! Just what I needed. That is absolutely perfect for stopping bleeding. I guess I shouldn't try to jump down there. Ooh, open, open the door. Oh. Sucks. Um, maybe in one of the other apartments. Duct tape and small pieces of metal. That is the perfect thing. Just the thing. Don't need anything else. And some nails, of course, of course, of course. Need some nails. Um, that looks like either scotch or rum. I'm not sure how good that is as a disinfectant. But what do I know? I thought you actually needed some clear alcohol to uh, to disinfect, but um, I'm probably wrong. And some okay, gauze. Everything I'm gonna find. Let's give this a shot. Ooh, mobile phone. Still, I'm gonna say that uh, duct tape is enough. Should be good enough. Just yeah. I mean, it's gonna hurt like shit to remove, but. Eh. In lieu of better. That does not look like a cut. That looks like a munchie. Hey, He's bleeding pretty bad. Let me see him. Goes and alcohol, huh? Pretty primitive, but it'll work. 
You know, you arrived at such a time that I might not even have bothered. I mean, I shouldn't have bothered. I'll take care of him from here. Don't you have, like, cause and alcohol on you already, so... I don't know. Just seem kind of like a waste of time and resources, but... Whatever. Yeah, yeah. Very well done. I'm the best. Woohoo! I just want to help out and repay you guys for what you did for me. Well, good. Come find me, and we'll talk about how you can do that. We'll do. We'll do. I guess I should get upstairs again. It's nice that the power still uh, runs in the city. Otherwise, it would be a hell of a trip to get up here on the. 19th floor, like 19th flights of stairs. Then again, you wouldn't be able to call you lazy after that, I guess. I mean, if you have to run up and down 19 flights of stairs every day, or even more, several times a day. All right, taken care of. Piece of cake. What else you got for me? Well, let me think. Rahim? You are just smart enough to be dangerous, you know that? Omar told me about your plans for the nest. Explosive charges? Really? That sounds like a great idea! More explosions! You can't tell a convincing lie to save your life. I know what I'm doing. Yeah? You think you can't die? You're not my mom. No, I'm not. Our mom's dead. So you might want to be a little nicer to me since I'm the only family you have left. Especially now that Amir is... Um, should I, uh... You're Jade, right? Right. Go. I just wanted to thank you for what you did for me and tell you how sorry I am for your loss. I owe you and Amir my life. Yeah, you do. You want to return the favor? Keep my dipshit brother from killing himself. Can do. No explosives, Rahim. Does it count if I kill him for for him? And it's technically technically not himself who kills himself. No. Okay. So, so, is that enough? Do I get to talk to Brecken now? First, go change your clothes. I left some new ones for you in your room. You're in 194. Something wrong with what I'm wearing? You need something that fits the job Brecken wants you to do. Call me when you've changed. What do you mean? It looks fine. Yeah. Right, let's see what kind of stupid outfit they've given me. Probably like a pink bunny costume or some shit like that. Hello. So, that's not a cup of noodles, it's a cup of bug. Nasty. I really need to uh, clean my room, it seems. It wasn't the, the pink bunny costume. Could be worse, could be worse. Okay, Raheem, I'm ready. Where do I find Brecken? Not so fast, 31. If you're going to earn your keep, we have to find out if you've got the skills. So get your ass up to the gym. It's on the top floor. Just a couple flights up. Okay. Fair enough. More stairs. All the stairs. There we go. We good? Raheem, I don't see you. Where are you? Oh. Ah. Oh, come on, dude. Watch out what you're doing with that crane. Well, Jesus you Christ. Get over here. You could have killed someone. What would you have done if there were actually someone on top of that roof? He would have been dead. Utterly crushed by that fucking crane. A crane, on a crane. Oh, shut up, kid. It's not funny. Crane on a crane. I'm gonna brain ya. Yep, but it hit the whole. Whoops, so easy. There we go. Welcome to our gym. First things first. You've got to learn how to run. I think I did pretty well already. How to run. 
Just do what I say, all right? Now, jump down to the very bottom. How about no? That's I'd kill myself. Don't be a wimp. What the fuck are you talking about? Come on, you can't be serious. Watch this. Ah. Raheem! My leg! Jesus, don't move! I'll get help! Ha! I was just fucking with you! Son of a bitch! What? You can't take a joke? Come on! Get your ass down here! Christ on a crutch. Seems keeping him from killing himself will be a lot harder than expected. Ah! Holy shit! Holy shit! <laughs> it's a rush, isn't it? But don't blow your load just yet. There's more. To survive outside, you got to take advantage of the terrain. Most eaters suck at climbing, so the harder the terrain is, the better for you. I've got some typical situations set up for you. Let's see how you handle them. So, just a few bags of trash is enough to break my fall from up there. Yeah, no! Nope, nope, nope. That's not how it works, especially if, you know... Wow, the trash is undulating. Um, especially if there's like hard trash in there. I mean, I think I've got a remote control stuck in my ass right now. It's really, imp uh, really uncomfortable. Oh, it'll come out in time. And up we go, up we go, up, 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 up. Whoops! Whoops! Ah! Crap! Ah, I just lost my orientation a little, a lot. So you say? Uh, this way. Yep. Oh, that was a little too close. Not bad. For a noob. <laughs> I'm gonna catch a kid and show you who's the fucking noob. See that? See that kid? I faced through that wood. Huh? Can you do that? No. Thought not. You know, if I was lazy, I wouldn't be able to do that. Seriously, just hanging on with only arms, that must be really fucking hard. Especially if you okay. want to jump Time from it. Just saying. This guy, no chance in hell that he's a lazy man. <laughs> Go and over. Okay, that's enough. You've got some serious natural talent, man. Either that, or you've done this before. You done this before? All the time. Hardly. The closest I ever came to this was running track in high school. Bullshit. <laughs> Fucking prodigy. Never seen anything like it. <laughs> right, and just a word again. What? Oh shit. What is happening to me? Brain. Talk to me. What's going on? Brain. Something went wrong. Raheem, what just happened to me? I just want your brain. Do I have some brains for me when I get over there? Please. Just a little brain. Doesn't even have to be human. Actually, it should be human. Oh my. God, it got a big human. Preferably a little kid. If I don't need a little kid's brain right now, I might literally die. Hmm. <coughs> Delicious. Raheem, what the fuck was that? Does this mean I'm I'm turning? Most likely no. At least not yet. Caesars reminds you that you're infected. You better go see Dr. Zero though. He'll check you out, probably give you a shot of antison. Before you head out to see Zera, talk to the quartermaster. He'll uh, gear you up so you can go outside without getting your head bitten off. Okay, uh, thank you. I uh, guess. <laughs> so we are going out into the wide open world of Haran. 
where we will smash zombies and devour children. All right, they've given me an actual job, and nobody suspects I'm not who I say I am. So far, so good. And once Dr. Zara helps me manage these symptoms I'm dealing with, I'll be even better. Who have you even said you are? You've given them nothing. They don't know who you are because you haven't told them who you are or who you th want them to think you are. To what? Oh, you're the new scout. Rahim radioed me about you. Yeah, that's me. Name's Crane. I'm not gonna bother learning your name till you survive a few days, but here, this is for you. Um, take By a look. Way, Thank you. around the tower is, you're just another deadbeat in line for food or antizen. I will I smash her head with this table leg and eat their brains. But don't blame them. That'll it's teach you. It's easy to get paranoid when you're isolated. And since somebody's jamming communications to the outside, there's plenty of paranoia to go around. Whole damn city with nobody to call for help but ourselves. You bring me some supplies from the airdrops, though, and you'll see people change their tunes in a hurry. That shit's a game changer. Uh, thanks. I'll bear that in mind. Listen, is there anything else? I'm in a bit of a rush. Also, if you're looking to get more popular, you can try helping folks. Do a few favors, they might like you more. My dear no, shit. Woman. Keep you warm at night. <laughs> uh, I... I don't know how to respond to that. That was kind of weird. Right. Going outside, yeah? Yeah? Yeah, yeah. Mind opening the door? No? Should I? Okay. Okay, new guy. Be careful out there. We've lost too many already. What a weirdo. The light! It burns! It burns! Oh, wait, no. I'm fine. One of Okay, noob. Just shut but me out like that. Yes. So it's down crane, there somewhere. Kid. All right, all right. Crane. Just keep moving. Can I? No. Damn it. And try not to make too much noise. Sound attracts those fuckers. Yeah, you say we are busy, but um, I actually gotta stop the video here. Um. So yeah, thank you for watching. This has been a let's play of Dying Light by Fat Badger. Uh, and I hope to be doing this again uh, soon. So, see ya. Bye.